Hello and welcome to today's crypto tutorial which is the first video of 2021 and in which I'm going to show you how you can connect your Ledger device which is a hardware wallet, it could be Ledger Nano S or Ledger Nano X to your Polkadot wallet in order to store your Polkadot coins. Not only that but you can also use it for Kusama to store your KSM but you cannot use it for anything else in the live networks here within the Polkadot wallet. It is not supported for any of these other projects that you see here like for example Darwinia, Equilibrium and so on or Staffy. Staffy doesn't even work at the moment, there's some problem with it at the time of me doing this video but you can use it for both Polkadot and for Kusama. So without further ado, Let's get straight in and show you how you can do it here now. But before you open this wallet, again, you do need to have this open, but you also need to open your Ledger Live. You need to have your Ledger Nano connected to your laptop or to your desktop. And then once you do that, you need to make sure that you install the Polkadot application as you see here, selected, highlighted in red. You do need to go to the app catalog, search for Polkadot, download Polkadot onto your Ledger. Once you have it there, you need to get into the application for Polkadot on your Ledger device. You need to actually open it, right? If you haven't, if you don't know how to use a Ledger, I do suggest you check out other tutorials which show you how you can use a Ledger device. Unfortunately, I didn't do one on my channel yet. I likely do one, but there are a ton of them on YouTube. So if you search on that, you'll, you'll be able to find information on that, right? But once you open the app, then what you should do is you should come back to this wallet, okay? Uh, keep the Polkadot app open and then you go to the settings page, okay? Assuming you're in the Polkadot live network here as I am, right? So you go to the settings page and here you'll see the option manage hardware connections. So you go to attach ledger via web USB. Again, do not attach ledger devices is the default option. So you need to go here on the drop down, select this. Then you need to click save. Okay, I've already saved it. So I've already got it there. And then what you do is you go to the account section and here you're gonna see the question mark on the top right hand corner here called add ledger. So if you click on that, it's gonna ask you to add the account via ledger. Now leave the default options as they are, account type zero, address index ID, address index zero as well. Click save. Okay, the device is disconnected. That's what it says here. So I'm gonna need to reconnect again. Let me reconnect. That's actually good because when I first tested this, I didn't actually get this error. So that's good. Let me cancel this again. And let me try again. Save. Okay, here we go. So here we can see that the ledger has been added under the account section. Now these other accounts that you see here, they're basically created as they are. You know, like when you're trying to add a brand new account, you get that... Uh, passphrase you write that passphrase somewhere and that's pretty much the uh, web wallet address there but with the ledger of course it is more secure so i do recommend if you hold dot if you hold kusama especially if you're staking it for the long term if you're waiting for those parachain auctions to happen for the price to pump you know for the future you you do believe in the project you think the project is going to do well you want to hold for maybe a year maybe longer i do recommend you use a hardware wallet because it is much safer right your addresses are all stored your private keys are stored on this uh, hardware device so hackers can't actually get into it so that's great so of course once you do that then you pretty much click on this and then you will see the address there as you see on the top right hand corner that's basically my public address and then you can use that address to send your dot from another wallet or from the exchange so very very basic again you do need to follow exactly the same process for kusama once you do that you can access your kusama as well so that's pretty much it thank you very much for watching this video and of course if you're new here please make sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video if you enjoyed it or dislike if you don't thank you very much for watching take care bye bye